I'm Dr. Gianluigi Savarese from the Department of Medicine, Karolinska Institute at Stockholm, and from the Heart and Vascular Team, Karolinska University Hospital, Stockholm, Sweden. Randomized control trials apply selection criteria to ensure heart failure diagnosis and reach for modifiable events and minimize non-modifiable competing risk. The full general eligibility of RCT is often questioned and may limit implementation of new drug in, cl in clinical practice. Sacubitri valsartan is already approved for heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, but a subgroup analysis from the Paragon HF trial may suggest benefit in patients with heart failure with mid-range ejection fraction and heart failure with preserved ejection fraction with an ejection fraction below 57, which was the median ejection fraction in the study. This suggests that the benefit of sacubitril valsartan observed in paradigm HF could extend at least to the mildly reduced ejection fraction and thus may even challenge the current definition of FREF to include also the mid-range or mildly reduced ejection fraction. Additionally, based on Paragon HF findings, use of sacubitril valsartan might be considered by regulators for lower range FPEF and also uh, MREF. Based on this background, we assess the proportion and characteristics of heart failure patients with reduced or mildly reduced ejection fraction, meaning ejection fraction below 50, and with mildly reduced or preserved ejection fraction, meaning ejection fraction more than 40, who will be eligible for sacubitri valsartan based on, on paradigm HF and paragon HF trial in inclusion exclusion criteria. Well, we applied inclusion exclusion criteria from Paragon and Paradigm HF trials to the Swedish heart failure registry population, which enrolls patients across the ejection fraction spectrum. And thus we assessed eligibility for Sacubitri Valsartan in this court base based on trial selection criteria. Then we compare patient characteristic and outcomes in eligible versus non-eligible patients. We use two different scenarios. A trial scenario where all the selection criteria were applied to our population and a pragmatic scenario uh, where we applied only the inclusion exclusion criteria from trial, which are more likely to influence use of sacubitri valsartan in clinical practice. Thank you, this is a very good question. The enrollment of women in, in many trials has been limited and this might also explain the underuse of several treatments in women versus men. We assessed eligibility for sacubitri valsartan in men and women, and we saw similar results, which reinforces the idea that women should be as well treated as men. We defined uh, FMRF, our failure with mid-range ejection fraction, as ejection fraction ran ranging between 40 and 50. Patients with MREF were considered eligible or not for sacubitri valsartan based on, Parada, uh, on Paragon HF trial, which enrolled uh, a population with ejection fraction more than 45%, and therefore uh, including partially also an MREF population. We see in postdoc analysis of several trials in heart failure, such as the SHARM trial, TOPCAT, trials on beta blockers, that the MREF may benefit of the same treatment as FREF. So we like to define heart failure with mid-range ejection fraction as heart failure with mildly reduced ejection fraction to stress the similarity to MFREF in terms of response to treatments. In a real world outpatient court, 81% of patients had ejection fraction below 50, with 63% of them eligible for sacubitri valsartan based on paragmatic criteria and 
eligible based on literal trial criteria. Similar eligibility was observed for ejection fraction ranging 40-49 and ejection fraction more than 50, suggesting that our estimates for ejection fraction below 50 may be reproduced whether or not a higher cutoff for ejection fraction is considered. We also showed that regardless of ejection fraction, patient characteristics and outcomes amongst eligible patients were linked to more severe heart failure and overall heavier burden of com comorbidities. This was surprising since randomized trials exclude patients with multiple comorbidities, which is suggested to limit generalizability to real world care. These findings may be explained by paradigm HF, paragon HF inclusion criteria being adequately defined to identify a high risk heart failure outpatient population at the, at the same time by trial exclusion criteria only leading to the exclusion of patients with very specific characteristics which were not linked with multiple comorbidities and more severe heart failure. We believe that our data might support the implementation of sacubitril valsartan use in FREF patients and in patients with higher ejection fraction, whether the drug might get new indications. Further research is of course needed to understand how to optimize trial design and the definition of selection criteria for trials, which successfully identify the right target population for new drugs, but which do not perform an extreme selection of the sample that might lead to limited generalizability of the trial findings to real world populations. Well, our study highlights how important is implementation science. We have several life-saving treatments in heart failure, but they are enormously underused. Time and money are spent to find new therapies, but still much needs to be done to implement the use of already available treatments. Study as ours provide evidence about generalizability of trial findings to real world population, which might reassure physicians who have concerns regarding the applicability of trial findings to daily clinical practice. 